one you're going to see is going to be immigration. Uh, the president has said that this is going to be a priority for him. Fixing our broken immigration system is a top priority. There is impetus on both sides of the aisle to get something done on immigration. This is where you are likelier to see a lot of action. The next one is gun control. We're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this regardless of the politics. I don't think there is going to be huge consensus on that. That one will be more of a fight. I think that could end up getting swallowed up uh, by the debt deal, and that is going to be the major fight in late February, early March, is going to be about spending and is going to be about the debt ceiling. There's no limit to the amount of money that our members uh, want to cut. Number four, which is a real question mark, is climate change. The president has given very mixed signals on this issue, but after Hurricane Sandy, and especially with Chris Christie and Governor Cuomo making lots of noise about this, there is going to be a real push for him to have to do something on this issue. And then lastly uh, is the nomination of Chuck Hagel. I'm also grateful for an opportunity to help continue to strengthen our country and strengthen our country's alliances. That is likely to get through. Uh, presidential prerogative normally uh, weighs here, and I think this is where we may see something different than what we're expecting. I think Chuck Hagel is going to uh, be pressured to make sort of a more specific statement about where he stands, not just on the war in Afghanistan. It will move this issue up to 2013, much more than just 2014, on troop withdrawals and what the objective is in terms of remaining there, but also, I think, in terms of Israel and Iran. I think that the uh, effort from Hagel's opponents is going to be to get him to say something much more specific and box in the White House on policy.